Hi, it's me again with Corel Roll Tips and Tricks. I thought I'd make a second video. He didn't ask for it, but how to put the 541. I'm using I'm going to use 543 uh, just to kind of show you. So what we're going to do, I just made some dots. I've made a lot of dice and kind of got used to how to doing it. I'm going to make a duplicate of that and move it over. I'm going to move over each piece, but I'm going to I should have made a duplicate of it because I want it back there. And so that way we have each piece. But what I'm going to do now is take these three and I'm going to left click, right click. I want to make a contour line. And really this would probably be easier uh, if I would have done them in the square shape or the before I ran it off the corner, but we'll give it a try. I'm going to go to contour and see nothing's highlighted because I've got them all picked. So I'm going to highlight or just to the inside, like a half inch. See what that looks like. That'll work. Go ahead and do them all. And now I'm going to grab them all and I'm going to go up to object and break the six objects apart. So what I want to do, I want to put the four in here. I want to put the five in here maybe and really turn it the other way. Uh, it'll be on top. And I'm going to put the three in here and maybe even mirror it the opposite direction. But what I want to use the envelope tool so I can actually get rid of these outside boxes because I don't want them all the way, but I want to have some guidance with the envelope tool. I don't really have to be anywhere near the center, but I'm going to do so. You know what? I'm going to, I'm going to reduce this by 10%. I just don't, they're too big. I made them all the same. So if I make them all 90%, it might work better. I think it's just too big for my dice. Now I'm going to grab the envelope tool with that selected. Envelope tool is underneath your shadow fly, fly out. And now see, it would have been, like I said, it would have been easier if I hadn't rounded off the corners. Okay, there's what we want to do. We want to get rid of these interior nodes. And we want to select those nodes or we want to right click and turn them into a line. That way we don't get any distortion when we do this. Now, I can just imagine that that line is out that way. So we're going to call that good. And then all we have to do is take this and nudge it over. It's a little bit still big for our dice, but that'll work. You get the, you get the idea. So same thing here. Get the envelope tool. So have it selected. Get the envelope tool. And every time you're going to have to delete the inside and then take them all and turn them into a line. So I'm right clicking the mouse, turn them into a line. And see, that way you don't get any distortion. We're just going to just put them on the corners. And it's not too bad after around it because you could actually see what it is. And what the reason I contoured it. That way it won't be touching my edge now. I had an edge to go to. We'll go ahead and finish this. It's pretty cool. I don't really know that you have to turn it uh, kind of like I did because we're going we're gonna to turn it or we're going to make it fit anyway. So go to the envelope tool. Get rid of the interior. I'm just selecting the interior nodes, selecting the exterior nodes, the corner nodes, and turn them into a line. And that's why I don't, that didn't work. I don't think you have to, uh, I didn't have to turn it because this is going to turn it like it's supposed to be anyway. But this way it's pretty, well, I did need to turn it because that's going to look funny, I think, when it goes in the spot. Yeah. And we might be able to be lucky here since that's a centerable item. Nope. It's a little bit off. So let's try. That's a good, I'm almost glad it happened. Um, you know, I'm still, uh, still got the envelope tool. I need to get back to there. And, you know, really that should be right. Um, if I figure that out later, I might figure it out. But I think, I think I'm just going to go with it. See, see, my envelope is turned now. I'd almost have to start over. Um, 
Let's see what it looks like. Yeah, it's going to be that same scenario. And you know what? Who knows what side the five is on? Then grab your pick tool. You see, it makes it look like it's kind of falling away. You know, that's totally wrong. Well, who's to say? Anyway, and it also made it move. I must have made those a lot smaller. No, they're 90%. Anyway, fun project. Hope that answers your question a little bit. And thank you for watching.